to add a modular window onto a design, go to the floor plan mode and in the home ribbon toolbar, select the window drop down menu and therein click on modular window. A window attaches itself to the cursor and is dependent on the walls. You can click anywhere on the wall depending on where you want to set your modular window. You can see in the left hand panel that the height, width, thickness, elevation and window type such as single casement, double casement and double hung are already there for you to specify in advance before setting the window. Let's click anywhere on the wall to set it. And in 3D, you can see that the modular window has several other details such as three extra frames as well as mullions and a glass pane. When we select the modular window by clicking on it, we can see in the left hand panel that there are several components mentioned on the right side of the left hand panel. To change the overall properties of the window, we select the modular window tab. Therein, you can see that you can change the overall dimensions such as the width, thickness, height, elevation, the shift, as well as the window location. We even have the option to publish this window once we are done editing its design. But as opposed to an ordinary window, how a modular window differs is that you can even edit the individual components of the window. For example, if we select the window casing tab here, you can have the option of enabling or disabling the casing. You can see that on the outer side as well. You can switch off the interior casing, which means the blue color casing will be removed from here or switch it back on again. And the same goes with the exterior casing as well. You can determine the width thickness as well as the width of both the interior and exterior casing as well as clicking on the change option against the material name to change the material. You can even do the same with the window frame, which is the second outermost frame around the window. Herein, you can also enable the frame overall or disable it. And you can even determine the width. Let's say I am typing in 60. So the frame actually increases from the outside. And once again, you can change the material of this. The window sash is the innermost frame around the window. When I select this window sash tab, you can see the properties of that particular component. Once again, you can disable or enable it. You can change the thickness, which in this case, I can make it as 50. And I can even change the width, which means it'll increase from the outside. And once again, you can change the material as well. Lastly, the innermost component of the modular window is also something that can be changed. If you select the lower most tab sticking out of the left hand panel, you will see an option called window pane. Herein, you can either enable or disable the glass pane and you can even change the thickness of the glass pane material. This, let me just change it to 20. So now the thickness of the pane has changed and I can even change the pane material. Let's say I go for glass, I can just choose some other type of material. Lastly, I can even change the number of rows and columns herein. To remove the rows and columns entirely, simply type in one against each field under mullion properties. Likewise, to determine the number of rows and columns, you can simply type in the desired number. Let's say I am typing in four for rows. That means it is dividing the window pane into four divisions. The same applies to the column field as well. Similar properties apply for even the double casement modular window as well as the double hung modular window.
To add either of them, select the window drop down menu once again. Click on modular window. And in window type, select the drop down menu. Let's say instead of single casement this time, I click on double casement. Once again, I set it in the wall the same way I would a normal window. And now in 3D, this is what a double casement window would look like. Selecting this, you can see that it has similar properties to that of a single casement window. In the case of a double hung window, the same steps apply. Once again, click on the window drop down menu, go to modular window, and in the window preferences panel, select from window type the drop down menu and click on double hung. When you place in the wall and go to 3D, you can see that this is the construction of a modular double hung window.